Welcome to this guide to placeable mods in aid of Medecins Sans Frontières. Whilst this is a guide to, and this is a guide to the latest uh, mod placeables that came out on Friday the 26th, it is not mainly about that. This is about something more. Um, this is about the mods that came out are in aid of Medecins Sans Frontières which is better known in English as Doctors Without Borders and these mods have been um, given in I believe as far as I'm aware um, and if they are downloaded and if they're rated well any money made goes to Medecins Sans Frontières that's the whole point of it um, I want to start this off by saying this is not if, if you don't like these mods even if you watch this guide to and you'll ask yourself, why are you doing a guide to on placeables? You place them, they're there. It's not about the mods. It's about downloading the mods. It's about what it represents, and it's about the charity it's going to support. Now, as far as I'm aware, also, some of these mods, I think, and I could be wrong on this, some of these mods have been included in the uh, Community Cancer Charity map, Skelton Farm. Um, now, like I said, I could be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure some of them have been used on that can't wait for that map to come out as well again for another great charity but we're going to focus on this one I'm going to do what I usually do on my videos if I'm going to do a little bit about the company the history that kind of thing behind the machinery the tractor whatever it is I'm reviewing but this time it's about the charity itself so Médecins Sans Frontières was founded in 1971 but the story started a few years before that in about 1968 as far as I can gather um, there was a lot of trouble in and around Nigeria in a place called Biafra and some doctors well decided they were going to go and help they decided that borders shouldn't be a restriction to people getting medical care and help um, and I think it was two doctors two clinicians and two nurses traveled out to which was a war zone there was a civil war going on at the time to provide aid and support they were the people that started off the whole kind of movement it was a new it was a shift in kind of humanitarian aid um, in so much as rather than just giving medical supplies they were actually giving their time and actually giving medical treatment and that kind of thing um, which was huge at the time so in 1971 Medicine Sans Frontières Doctors Without Borders was founded um, and has done a huge amount since then they had a bit of a power shift just before I think 1980 where some of the members wanted to stay relatively small and go out and do kind of small group work and I think a lot of people want it to be far more organised, more structured, a bigger organisation. Um, but that said, since 1980, they now have offices in 28 countries. They employ over 30,000 employees and they have treated over 100 million patients in that time. I think one of the most impressive statistics was 2014 alone. They uh, had 8.25 million outpatients consultations just in that year alone that's unbelievable i mean it is it's such a huge thing now i was asked by one of my subscribers would i do a video on these mods um to help the charity and and to help you know people be aware of it and i didn't know a lot about it I heard, i'd heard of doctors without borders but i didn't know much about them um as an organization and when you actually start looking into them it's pretty amazing the things they've they've achieved i think 1999 the organization was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize um, and as part of their charter and I wanted to get this right so I'm going to read this Médecins Sans Frontières provides assistance to, po assistance to populations in distress to victims of natural or man-made disasters and to victims of armed conflict they do so irrespective of race religion creed or political convictions and I think in that, this day and age, where there are so many of these smaller conflicts, I think people would call them, um, where people need treatment and can't get it, that's important. It's a massive thing they do. So, I'll say it again. It's not going to cost you anything. A bit of time. I've downloaded or installed all of these mods that you can see in front of you, and we're going to talk about them in a minute. And it's barely used any of my memory space. Download them go onto the website, onto Farming Simulator, onto the mods, I'll put a link in the description, download them, rate them. Even if you don't like them, do it. It's not going to harm you to do it, but it'll make a big difference to them. Every little bit will make a big difference, so please get on there and have a go. So, 
moving swiftly on then we're going to actually look at the mods now there are a couple um, most of these mods that were released on friday are in conjunction with mappers paradise which i'm assuming or who i'm assuming are kind of driving force behind this um, so all of them say mappers paradise and somebody else um, there are two mods on there that didn't say they were in aid of medicine sans frontier so i don't know if they are i'm going to say they might be but i don't know for definite but i have a um, there's a minor glitch unfortunately with one of them the first of these is a barrel pack and the barrel pack is where is Suche, i think it is Suche and mappers paradise if we look in the store under placeables let's scroll back to where i need to be which is all the way along here past all of the mods that are out you've got these barrels and there are this is a blue barrel there's nothing there green red rusty rusty two steel and yellow problem is every time i've placed one it's come out plain white and in its kind of base texture i don't know why it's done that now i'm not sure if this is part of the sort of aid or to help the charity but they came out the same time so i don't know don't hold me to that um but there's an issue or i've had an issue with that doesn't mean everybody will but i have um the next along the line is a crates pack um this is pack of wood crates and this is by mappers paradise and nobiax again this didn't say it was an aid of medicine sans frontier but it's with mappers paradise i'm assuming it is but i don't know for definite and there are five different wooden crates there's a little bucket kind of a handheld almost like an apple crate that kind of thing a longer box one with the lid off and then a, a squarer box um these aren't expensive they're a hundred pounds euros or dollars each all of these mods they don't do anything other than change the aesthetics on your map if you want to add things on make it look a little bit different a little bit more personalized and this is why people will make comments about why are you bothering they don't do anything you don't need to show people what they do i understand that and that's not what this guide to is about it's about looking at them and getting on there and um, download them just download them so the next ones we're going to look at are the placeable brick walls pack and this is by dorset and mappers paradise and there are quite a few in this pack i have to say there's a concrete uh, there's a brick pillar brick wall there's a damaged wall one damaged wall two there's wall with pillar and then you've got these ones which are kind of slanted walls again we'll go back in the slanted ones are there you go wall with post you've got a 500 centimeter which is five meter a 10 meter 15 meter and a 20 meter wall um so there's a lot of variation on there and you can do whatever you want with them put them together place them as long walls make them into a i don't know a brick enclosure you could maybe make them like this for putting crops and grain and stuff like that in but the textures on these and the detailing is amazing the colors the fact that the concrete slabs on the top look like concrete like i say just go on and rate them i mean they're really really good when you get onto the wall ones the fact you've got they look like old walls you've got the sections of brickwork which is flaked off you've got the top you've even got the kind of green mossy algae that's run down from where it's been raining and that kind of thing the detail on, on them is very very good very very impressive and let's say they're not going to do anything they don't open close and nothing like that you just put them together put them wherever you want and just change the style of your map a little bit um i don't play on pc and i'm not a map maker i'm assuming these things are available obviously to map makers as well so if you're going to be building a map making a map and you want to add things on i guess that's kind of more the point of them but for console players it does give you the option to customize your map a little bit and kind of make it your own without having the ability to to make your own map you can customize your own one um and these ones like i say range in size same thing you've still got the, the green kind of algae kind of look on them brickwork and the fancy ones at the end here you've got recessed sections on this one and raised sections on this one so if you feel like going for a bit of a fancy wall somewhere that's entirely up to you but that is the well potentially the third mod in that pack i'm not sure for certain on the first two which moves us on to the next one we're going to have a quick look at and this is the concrete pack um this is by mappers paradise and nobiax again um we've got a barrier there's a cube a cylinder i think that's called a hedra i will check that in a second and wall sections so again we'll just have a quick look into the store scroll right way past the brick ones 
so yeah barrier cube cylinder hedra it was a hedra um, it reminds me of the um, what they called Czech porcupines um, or Czech hedgehogs that's what they're called um, from World War II the kind of anti-tank traps that they used to make out of steel it's that kind of thing that's what it reminds me of um, something that I, I found kind of ironic and it, I don't know it just made me laugh I, it's one of those weird things that these are all in aid of Médecins Sans Frontières which is Doctors Without Borders yet all of these are barriers which is a bit peculiar it's that kind of weird um yeah i don't know i just i thought it was kind of odd but there you go so again the textures on these absolutely brilliant it looks like concrete looks like it's been cast i know in real life you can normally get pallet forks underneath these types the, these barrier sections but i don't know if you'd come on this one but again, do with them what you will. If you want to use them to place across, you know, driveways, entranceways. I know in the UK, a lot of farmers have problems with fly tipping, where people dump their rubbish and junk in farm entrances and stuff like that. So farmers will often put things in the way to stop people getting in. Um, these ones, it's kind of like, it's like a little mini Berlin Wall, doesn't it? But um, I tried to get as close as I could, but I didn't quite line that one up properly. But again if you can see a purpose for them or a need for them on your map or you just want them on there somewhere to make it look a bit different download them install them and if you don't do that you can certainly download them and just don't use them doesn't really matter make a difference so after the concrete pa pack we're going to move on and we have a wood fence panel i think it is yeah wood fence panel this is by mappers paradise and daz again really really great details these are the backs of the panels with all the framing you would expect with all your slats on the front if you come around to the other side and again you can line these up do whatever you want with them if you've got noisy neighbors and you want to block them out you might want to use these for anything you want or if you just want to stick one in the middle of a field and pretend it's modern art that's entirely up to you um, again they're not very expensive as I recall about 100, 149 as well let's keep going no 100 100 pounds euros or dollars for a wood fence panel so you might just want to make a little enclosure to put your vehicles in it's entirely up to you um, but the detailing on them is very very good the colors are great the textures are good it must take ages to make things like this it seems like something so simple but even down to the bottom we've got the different heights of the panels where it's like it's been put together it's not all uniform it's not just a big slab of look this is it and you've got the knots in the wood and that kind of thing very very nice indeed which leads me on to my second to last um, and this is the old shed pack this is by mappers paradise and oxygen david of frontier design fame um, again this one is the most functional of the three the doors don't open or anything like this these are just placeables you're going to put down and you know make it look nice or maybe it won't look nice it's entirely how you want your farm to look I like this one with the corrugated like iron sides the fact you've got rusty panels it all looks a bit higgledy piggledy like it's been put together with with whatever's knocking around the farmyard um, nice little mod this one here is a bit more functional because you can actually park vehicles in maybe sick bales under it seed bags anything you want really and the third one is it's an unusual one this it kind of reminds me of a, like an old railway shed that kind of thing very very long very very thin not much else on it other than the door at one end so you might stick this on the side of a building or i, I really don't know it's a peculiar one um these cost let's have a look oh gone past 799 of your earth pounds um that's not too bad at all 800 for a placeable that shed for 800 actually isn't too bad at all i like that comes in quite handy especially with the smaller farms smaller vehicles uh, or you might just want to put it by the side of a field stick bales under um very very nice indeed so let's come back out of there that is all of the mods bar one and like i say just download them go on rate them it's not going to harm you one little bit to do it it's not going to cost you a penny to do it but it can make a big difference so bear with me one minute because i need to go somewhere else for the last one i will see you there in a moment 
the last of the mods is the Mary Bourne monument and I wanted to come up the hill so you can see this in it, all its glory this should be placed on a hill absolutely should be placed on a hill uh, again I took a little bit of research I didn't know who Mary Bourne was Mary Bourne is an artist sculptor um, she works mostly in natural stone she carves it cuts it does all various different things with it she um, has done lots of projects for councils and companies and that kind of thing this one is interesting um, because where it's placed is a part of the world that I like very very much indeed um, this is up on a dale hillside at the start of the River Eden in East Cumbria and the River Eden at that part forms the natural boundary between um, Cumbria and North Yorkshire this is called water cut as you can see it's representing a river cut into the stone so both sections both halves of it are separated by the center bit now this is up at the the very start where the the, the water springs out the ground and starts the River Eden the River Eden runs from there the east of Cumbria down to the Solway Firth um, not far from Carlisle about five miles from Carlisle I believe um, and there is a footpath uh, a walkway that follows that river so this marks the start of that that walk that you can do I think it's about 145 kilometers something like that long but what's great about this is because it's up on a hillside what's supposed to happen is the sky behind it regardless of what the weather conditions are doing is supposed to be there to represent the river flowing so it could be grey and shifting, stormy, blue sky, whatever it might be. Which I think is quite a nice touch. I like that. It's it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so that's it. That's the Mary Bourne Monument. Nice thing. Um, stick it up on a hill. Admire it. It's a brilliant, brilliant thing. And that's it. Really, realistically. You go that way. You get that kind of yellowy kind of look. Wow. Anyway. Um that's it from me I, I wanted to i wanted to get this done um i wanted to show them like i say i was asked by one of my subscribers and i didn't know a lot about the charity um and now i do i'm waiting for skeleton farm to come out that's another charity map that's due out and i think that's another really worthwhile cause and if that when if and when that comes out to console um i want to get a video out on that to help out where you can on that as well so like i've said repeatedly get on there get on to farming simulator website giants website onto the mods download them rate them make a difference i hope you found this uh mod review interesting useful uh in some way shape or form if you have give us a like get more people watching this video the more likes it gets the higher up it goes on people searches that kind of thing and the more people that watch it the more people download the more money it'll get make for the charity so please get on there and do that um if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching